catalog. For CD Finder to work its magic finding your hidden digital treasures, it first needs to catalog your data once. You can simply click the Catalog Disk button to catalog an entire disk. Just select it from the list of mounted volumes and done. Or, alternatively, you can simply drag one or multiple disks from the Finder into the left side of the CD Finder window. That would also start cataloging them. Of course, CD Finder cannot just catalog entire disks. That would be lame. You can also just catalog important folders. Again, either drag them from the Finder into the left part of the CD Finder window or use the Catalog Folder menu command. Hint, the menus of CD Finder hold a lot of interesting functions. Make sure you have a look at them. Okay, engage. To help you find your data better, CD Finder not simply reads the names of your files and folders when cataloging, but it can also read a huge amount of helpful additional data as well, such as photo thumbnail or MP3 tags of song files and so on. You can control what CD Finder catalogs with the preferences. Here in the cataloging section, you can tell CD Finder for which types of files you wish to have a thumbnail and what size it shall have, photo files, video files and the different sizes. The media info is even more extensive and covers video, audio and photo metadata as we have seen. But CD Finder can do a lot more. During cataloging, it can peek inside compressed archive files to gather their content, detecting zip, rar, tar and other formats. CD Finder is even the first cataloger on the Mac that can catalog the contents of disk image files for you. And sometimes there is unwanted information you don't need. So you can ignore things like invisible files or folders, icon and alias files or the contents of bundles or file packages, such as applications, to speed up cataloging and to create a cleaner catalog. And that wasn't all yet. CD Finder can attach a serial number to any new catalog, making filing large numbers of disks a lot easier. And CD Finder can even catalog version info of files and their spotlight or finder comments. CD Finder can also generate a file check value for every file it catalogs. That is powerful if you are concerned about long time storage. At any time you can ask CD Finder to verify these file check values either for a particular file or for an entire catalog and you can then check that all files are in fact unchanged and safely stored. At last you can control how much depth CD Finder catalogs. If you just need the top level items on your disks, set this up here or leave it at all. You can set all these preferences either globally using the CD Finder preferences window but you can also tell CD Finder to show you these cataloging specific preferences for each volume you catalog. Just use this checkbox here or hold down the command key just before a cataloging process begins in CD Finder. Okay, holding down the command key and there you go. Then you will see these options again, but they will only apply to the disk you are about to catalog. And there is one more thing. Okay, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> if you have changed the content of a disk, you can ask CD Finder to update an existing catalog by selecting it and using the Update Catalog in the file menu. Then CD Finder will quickly run over the disk, update everything while keeping your comments and labels for files and folders in that catalog alive. CD Finder, the search is over.